Hi, I'm Dave Wallace, the GM for Security Standards Compliance at J.P. Morgan Chase Payment Tech, and this is the video synopsis for my proposed presentation, There's More to the PCI Than the DSS Ratio. Chase Payment Tech is the world's largest processor of Visa and MasterCard e-commerce transactions, and we represent merchants and acquirers on the PCI Security Standards Council Board of Advisors. I personally manage the Merchant Compliance Program. I advise merchants on the PCI standards, the difference between those standards and the payment brand rules, and the implementation of acceptable compensating controls. This presentation was compiled from several years of such conversations with merchants, assessors, PCI counsel, and the payment brands. Most people approach PCI simply by trying to implement the standard onto their organization as is. This approach almost always results in expending unnecessary effort and incurring extra cost. This presentation contains information companies grappling with PCI are often not told information crucial to reducing the resources required to implement the PCI standards. For instance, merchant level governs merchant's attestation requirements. Generally speaking, a lower level equals lower expense, and most merchants know their level is set based on transaction volume. Most don't know, however, the specific test their acquirer should be using to determine whether their volume should be aggregated or split across locations and lines of business, nor do they know if their acquirer performed the test correctly or if they performed it at all. So if the volume was aggregated, it could have been split, level may be too high, resulting in extra cost. Another example is the concept of scope. One of the most common mistakes merchants make is scoping their assessment. Too broad a scope means extra effort. Too narrow means vulnerability. We'll explore scope, what's in, what's out, and we'll explore the concept of limiting scope. Simply overlaying PCI onto an organization usually places large numbers of systems that have nothing to do with cardholder data in scope. Simple modifications to the environment, such as segmenting off the desktop network, uh, isolating cardholder data in POS environments, or segmenting back-end systems can vastly reduce scopes and therefore cost. Another area of savings is compensating controls. PCI allows the use of compensating controls, and these can allow a merchant to become compliant more quickly, helping avoid fines and reduce costs by spreading out purchases. We'll explore the concept of adequate and appropriate controls. We'll look at where flexibility is allowed in choosing controls and where PCI dictates that specific controls must be used. I'd like to thank you all for your consideration of my presentation. I believe the RSA conference presents a unique opportunity to share this kind of critical information at this level of detail with information security professionals. I look forward to hearing from you and to once again speaking at the RSA conference. Thank you.